you're holding it wrong. I'll show you how to cradle your precious cargo. Oh, hey there. Just teaching a DP how to properly cradle his new baby. Oh, such a cute little thing. Aren't you a cute little thing? Such a precious little girl. So pretty. Isn't she a beauty? Hello, and welcome to this short video on Kupo's camera cradle. There are many times when you are shooting handheld without a stabilization system, and you don't want to place your expensive camera rig on the floor where it could easily get damaged. So while you're taking a rest between shots, waiting for the scene to be lit and blocked, or on a small production, you may have to put the camera down to play multiple roles. The Kupo camera cradle provides a secure docking cradle for your rig that can be mounted either on a light stand or tripod. The camera cradle is made from high quality European beech wood. It features a 3 16 female thread for quick mounting on top of a tripod, and it also comes with Kupo's ball head adapter that allows you to mount the cradle to either a 5 8 inch baby pin using the inside baby receiver, or remove the locking knob and you have a 1 1 8 inch junior stud for junior receivers. It comes with a removable white nylon rail holder that accommodates both standard diameters, 15 and 19 millimeters. There are multiple mounting slots designed to accept several tethermate accessories designed with a U-shaped sliding plate, such as a cup holder and a V-mount battery plate, as well as many others which can be mounted in seconds without tools. The cradle is equipped with two steel handles designed for easy handling a Velcro strap to secure the camera rig to the cradle through the side handles. A non-slip carpet sticks firmly to the cradle, not only prevents it from sliding off, but it protects the camera from scratches. Four metal tapped 3 16 hole inserts are integrated into the cradle to accept any accessory with a 3 16 male thread, such as this 3 16 threaded eye hook. The camera cradle can accommodate camera rigs up to 275 millimeters wide and camera rigs from 313 to 445 millimeters in length. Let's set the camera cradle and some accessories up on a 20 inch double riser C-stand, affectionately known as a Gary Coleman on set. First, we'll mount this ball head adapter to the bottom of our cradle. Next, we'll mount the cradle to our C-stand. Mount the white nylon rail holder. Place our camera rig in the cradle with the rails positioned in the nylon rail holder. Use the Velcro strap to secure the camera to the side handles. It's early morning and I need a caffeine fix, but it would be rather irresponsible to place a coffee cup on the cradle where it could get easily knocked over. With the Tethermade cup holder to the rescue, I could get my caffeine on without worrying about spilling my latte on my camera rig. Mount the cup holder and secure in place. Now we'll add a V-mount battery holder to provide power to any additional accessories. Gotta run, duty calls. As you can see, the camera cradle provides a stable platform to store your camera in between shots to give you a well-needed break for a marathon day of shooting or it keeps your gear safe and out of danger while performing other tasks and saves your back from having to lift the camera off the ground dozens of times a day. Now that's a wrap. Thanks for watching. When it comes to your image making dreams and your grip equipment, at Kupo, we like to say, never let go.